This is Chris Peachman from buildazure.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Azure Cloud Shell that was recently released in the Azure Portal. So now I'm logged into the Azure Portal with one of my Azure subscriptions. I'm going to click this icon up here with a little arrow to the right, looking like a terminal prompt. It's going to open up the Cloud Shell. Since it's the first time I'm opening it, on this subscription, it's asking me to create a storage account that it can use for persisting files within the home directory. So I'll select my Azure subscription, click Create Storage. Now we can see it's created that account, it's mounted the cloud drive, and now it's initializing the cloud shell for me. Right now it's just the bash shell. If we click this arrow here at the top, we can see PowerShell coming soon. It's not available yet, but right now we have the bash shell. So now I'm on a bash shell within the browser. I can type the Azure command for the Azure CLI 1.0. I can type the AZ command for the Azure CLI 2.0. So they are both actually supported in here in the Cloud Shell. I'm just going to go ahead and create some resources with the Azure CLI uh, 1.0. So I'm going to use the Azure group create command. Specify the name of a resource group. Just name it CLI group. And for the default Azure region location, I'll specify East US. Hit enter. I'm just going to go and create that resource group in my subscription. Now that resource group's been, crea been created, let's create a web app. So first we'll create an app service plan. So say Azure app service plan create. We'll give it a name. We'll specify the resource group that we just created to put this resource in. And then let's specify the location or region for this app service plan. Again, we'll say East US. Hit enter. Now it's created that app service plan. But now let's look through the portal and see what's actually been created. So I'm going to go to all resources. And we can see there's a storage account, which is actually the storage account that's used for the cloud shell in this case. I don't actually have any other resources in the subscription right now. If I click on resource groups, we'll see CLI group is in here. Click on that, and we can see the app service plan should be in there, but it, oh, excuse me, I missed the SKU on it. I overlooked that prompt. So I'll enter, hit the up arrow on the keyboard, enter that command in, and then we'll specify the SKU parameter. I'll just say F1 for the free pricing tier, hit enter. And now we see it's creating the app service plan this time, since we don't have any missing parameters. And I'll go ahead and click refresh on my resource group. We can see the the service plan is shown in there now. Now let's go and create a web app to put in that app service plan. So use the Azure web app create command and the Azure CLI 1.0. Specify the name parameter to give the name of our web app. And I'll just actually in this case I'll name it test app. And then plan parameters, specify the app service plan. We'll use the plan we just created. Specify the resource group parameter to give it the resource group we just created to put that in this resource group. Then specify the location parameter to give it the Azure region. We'll say East US again. And hit enter for it to go and create that web app. Now we do have an error in the command line. It says Web says a website with a given name already exists, so it's actually that name isn't unique, so we need to change that and make that unique. So we'll go and edit that command and hit enter again. Wait, fix my typo. Enter. Now it's creating that web app. Now it says it's created the web app. So if I refresh the resource list in my resource group, we can see now there's my app service plan and my app service web app. I can drill into the app service web app and see things in the portal, or I can use other Azure CLI commands to manage it. Again, I use the Azure CLI 1.0 commands this, in this case to create the web app. I could just as easily use the Azure CLI 2.0 commands as well. Now there's some additional things supported here I want to call out. So there is the uh, Cloud Drive command. If I go to the console here, 
type cloud drive dash h get help so the cloud drive command uh, is actually a utility that allows you in the azure cloud shell to mount and unmount file shares um, from azure storage uh, that prompt when we first opened up the cloud shell prompted us to create a storage account that automatically mounted that storage account for us to our home drive uh, to be able to access our home folder to be able to access and persist files in our Azure Cloud Shell. Um, using this Cloud Drive utility, you can mount and unmount the file share used by the Cloud Shell. So if you need to modify that, um, I would take extreme caution in doing that right now with it in preview. Um, it could be a little bit unpredictable. I actually had the case with a previous subscription where I went and I deleted the storage account and I broke it. So that subscription can't use the Azure Cloud Shell. So something to note uh, and be careful with right now. So if we go to my resource groups, and we can see this Cloud Shell Storage South Central US storage account, or a resource group rather. This is the resource group where it created the storage account that is using to persist files from the Azure Cloud Shell. So if we go in here, we can see a storage account with a unique name. And if I go into that storage account, we can drill into what's in here. So let's go to files, and see if we can find that file share. So there we can see there's a file share in there. We drill into it. We can see there's a file share and we could manipulate that uh, within our storage account that's used. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.